First of all, you don't you don't want to travel on the seat next to Roger. He's too big. <laughs> He'll squeeze you all the way to LA. <laughs> you, you travel like that. <laughs> you move, and he's grumpy because he's concentrated for the fight. Ooh. But anyway, oh. I can't even start to uh, tell you how, or, or it's difficult to the, the traveling. I, I that was a, a a part of our lives that went from probably because before it was in Rio, we were in Rio, and but after two thousand and three. Roger did his first Abu Dhabi in Sao Paulo. And after that, that's when the trips really, really started. Because 2005, he fought for the first time in California for the Abu Dhabi 2005. And then 2000 and, yeah, then we went to Vancouver for his first MMA fight. Oh, I've, I've seen some incredible cities and some, because all of these events, you know, especially, and in 2007 was the first world's, world championship in, in LA, in Long Beach, California, where it is till this day. It started in 2007. So 2007, 2008, 2009, 2010, I went to all of Roger's competitions. That was his last one. But uh, between those competitions, there were the MMA fights that took us to mostly America, Japan, Canada. That's about it. I couldn't make it to all of them because sometimes I was busy with work or whatever. But uh, I tried to see as, as much as I could. And the experiences that we had will remain for the rest of my life in my, in, as really, really good and found memories. Obviously, there's a, the, the losses, and, but it's all part of the journey, right? But, man, it made us bond a lot. Good, bad, good humor, bad humor, bad tempered, good tempered, laughs, cries, whatever, but it was a fan. Fantastic journey. Oh, wow. Yeah. It was amazing. It, uh, he retired now. And I think he made the right decision at the right time. You know, he's looking after his schools now and his, his future, really. Because what the name that he's built for himself as a competitor, a fighter, man, I just have to kind of. I feel very, very happy for him.